I just got back to the yard here, folks. I, I was doing a few things on the other side of the paddock and I came out here to the, my little orchard and I had my delivery. Have a look at it. 30 metres of it. Compost. Now this is what they call mushroom compost. Horse manure mixed in with all the straw that they put at the base there. You know, the bedding straw. Now this is going to be hot and cold at the same time. So the outside, look at it. You know what, look at, look at this. This is the difference. Have a look at this. This is turned, this is sand, look at it. It's just so fine. Great topsoil. This was meant to be compost. It ain't compost. That's what I call compost. Now, admittedly, I do want to have green, recycled green organic compost, which is basically your green waste turned into a compost. And I'm going to build a couple of beds, and you'll see that in our episodes coming up on 7-2, on how to make your own compost bins. What I've got here is a breaking down of compost, and we basically call this mushroom compost. All the poles of poo, have a look at that. See all that there? All the lumps in here, all that, and here we've got all our straw mixed in our bedding base, which is basically breaking down. If I test this, and this is all good, this is good, all good bacteria, that's alive, that's what I want. So you're going to have an alkaline based compost here as well, I guarantee you that, because this isn't fresh manure and it's not green waste. It is basically aging manure and aged manure with the, the different texture. That texture in it, that's what I want. I want that in it. I want the microbes to start breeding in that and my trees to feed off that. I'll, I'll fatten this up even more with our liquid fertilizers, our EcoBoost and liquid gold, and obviously our black grid. But let's do a quick test of the straw. So we'll go inside here and we'll do a sample of some of this. Now that's our straw, bedding straw. And what I've got here, bit of poo. Yeah, I'm playing with poo. Now I want to see what the difference is between the straw and the poo. Now this ain't fresh poo. It's moist, but it ain't fresh. And this isn't fresh either. But they've all been sitting around for a while. Don't worry, I don't have to do a test here, folks. I've got Jack who's doing a test for me. Have a look at him. Alkaline. Perfect. <laughs> now you can see the manure. Is it the, well, look, the straw is a bit more alkaline than the manure itself, but I've got to find a good piece of manure. At the end of the day, it's not so much the alkalinity when you've got texture in it. Yep, it's all alkaline. It is quite alkaline, actually. Maybe a bit more than my liking again, folks, when it comes to the acidity levels. But what I do want to stress here is that we have got texture in here. We're going to add a little bit of the bark. We are going to add some of the... Uh, the old soil there behind me, or the composted soil there too. Yeah, alkaline again. But it's all straw again, you can see that. It's all breaking down. Now, if you remember what I said to you about the acidity levels in your soil, if you're buying compost and it's all just topsoil and it's completely alkaline, there's no texture in it, like here. This is what I mean. Look at that. Look at this, have a look at it. See all that white stuff? That's all bacteria there. That's all growing there, that's breeding there. But good bacteria, microbes, they're alive, they're feeding off it. They're composting bacteria or microbes. They're eating away all that stuff there. That's what you want. That's not a disease, it's not a bad thing. That's what you want in your compost and that's a lie for you. But if, if you've got alkaline soil or compost, where, where? Nowhere. It's just sand, it becomes inert, it dries up, there's no life in it, it won't breed, they'll breed on that. So I have said in the past about pH, it almost becomes irrelevant when you've got texture versus sand. If you've got the texture in your soil, the pH is not that important, it's the breeding that is important. You need to breed them all. Now you can fatten this up even more with acidity if you want by adding your green waste on top of that or your liquid fertilizers, our eco boost. If I put some of that stuff on this here, it'll boost it so quickly that the microbes will breed 10 times faster. The acidity levels will be just right as well, but I'm not too worried because there's enough food there for the microbes to feed off for the living organisms in the earth to come to life and feed the trees. So I'm happy, I am happy. 
Just got a sample of soil from under our olive trees. This is our our own soil here. You can see sort of a sandy clay, brown clay, whatever you want to call that. Now I want to see what this is at because I've never tested this, but I I'm having a guess. I reckon it's going to be acidic, very acidic, right? So I reckon between the acidity that I have in my own soil here because, and why I say it's acidic is because we've got onion grass growing everywhere and they love acid soil. Look at that. Now that is neutral heading towards acidic. So we're bordering neutral to acid level soils and that's perfect because what we're going to do now is putting our mushroom on top of that which is full of you know, organic matter, break, it's going to break down with the microbes feeding off that, balanced with our slightly acidic or neutral acidic soil there, and our black grid in there, we've got a beautiful powerhouse combination going on. And then the bark on top, these trees are going to be jumping out of the ground this spring summertime. Just nice sitting here. <laughs> Look at the colours. The kohlrabi, the butter lettuce. Love how we have the spring onions in the middle there. Really cute. In the radicchia or radicchia or radicchios or radicchios. <laughs> anyway, they're coming up really well. They're a little bit slow because these got trampled on by Cara. And we've got the curly leaf, the mixed salads over there. Let's get a sample of soil and see what's going on down here. All right, underneath my compost or my, my mulch, sorry. Cara's walking around me. Cara, what are you doing? Oh, your tail's like a whip, don't. Here's a little bit of soil, it is a bit moist. We're gonna put our magic liquid on top. Hydrate it with its color. I've never done a test here before. All right. But we've got lots of activity in the soil. You know that with the bacteria. Look at that. pH, alkaline. Nothing wrong with that. And you remember why I said there's nothing wrong with that? When you've got life in your soil, when you've got straw, when you've got bark, when you've got texture, you've got the compost, you've got the microbes producing those nutrients. It doesn't have to be acidic. When it's too acidic, it locks up all the other nutrients in the soil and that's where black grit comes into it. So alkaline soil is not a bad soil to have, providing you've got texture. And when you've got that happening and you bring it to life, these are the results. They grow on their own. And they don't dehydrate as fast either because hot soil, acidic soil, dries up a lot quicker. She's gorgeous. Hey. So stay tuned for some great tips with me and Mama coming up very soon. For more great information just like this, go to our website, facilitiesgarden.com. Hey, Kakara, what do you reckon, huh? Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oh, yeah, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? No, let's see. Gotcha. Ah, ah, ah.